guys hello guys welcome and today will be a reviewing of ant-man aquantumania that i've hopefully that's the right how to pronounce that and yeah mate but firstly before i speak to you on my reviews make sure to smack the like share, share and subscribe it would be much appreciated and yeah let's go i read everything in the um, notes so i'll be reading out and yeah guys let's go so Quantamania was a great start to phase five. I had a high expectation walking in the theater and overall I was very happy with the result. The MCU's visual effects is phase four has certain had its ups and downs. Yeah, it, uh, obviously yeah, uh, the Ant-Man movie was like the visual effects was like, it was like 50-50, it was all right. And after that, I was like, oh, come on, that was too much. But Quantum Man really went all out. They actually went all out with the visual effects. With like literally all the effects was so nicely made, and it may be the MCU best performance with visual effects. So maybe, and this visual will be for Ant Man, if there's like MCU's best performance of the visual effects. The original Ant Man cast Scott Cope and Hank are still funny, awkward characters we know and love from the first movie. Obviously the characters of uh, the Ant Man of it, you know that he's always likes to make jokes and funny. So that's the that, that's their character to be fair. Since we only got to see Janet for a short time during the Ant Man two, she becomes a Asian character in this movie and she sets up the scene of the movie that the uh, quantum realm and the big bad villain she was, uh, she was a villain bad villain of the multiverse saga kank is a truly one thriller terrified villain that looks like to be a major fear threat to uh to adventure or, or avengers no avengers what i'm talking about. avengers so that character would be probably one of the toughest toughest to probably beat him and uh, beat him in avengers so i hope uh, we will probably see kong in the uh, avengers movies when they'll be releasing it probably we'll go see him may i also say that jennifer major is a uh, one remakeable actor and plays Kang incredibly well. So he ever played Kang was so very very good actor. Jennifer was a good actor to play Kang. What a performance by her! If I read, uh, if I want to read this movie five out of four, or uh, out of five, I'll give it a four star out of five. And yeah, leave everything in your in the comment section what's your review what's your rating for that movie and yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to smack the like share and subscribe if you don't like it smack a dislike i don't mind